Hello, I'm Frank Beecham. When I first met Jimmy Norman in 2001 at Penang, a tiny New York City bar, his health was very poor. He'd had a heart attack and had been forced to retire after three decades of singing with the Coasters. Yet he came to Penang nearly every week to sing because that's just what he was put on this earth to do. It was unimaginable at the time that Jimmy's very best work, the crowning moments to a long, illustrious musical career, lay in the years ahead. Yet that's just what happened. The way I see it, Jimmy's new recording joins little pieces as bookends that came from sheer luck and a deep love of music. Many of the songs were rescued from notebooks in a trash bag on the street by Jimmy's helpers at the Jazz Foundation of America. This led to Jimmy's pairing with producer Karen Tolhurst through a series of random events. Karen, who just happened to be playing in Johnny Roche's band at Penang, got involved when he was asked to check out Jimmy's newly found archive of songs. He was amazed by what he heard and agreed to become Jimmy's producer. The first recording was Little Pieces, the result of a two-year, no-budget project in which Karen worked with Jimmy at his home to bring to life an amazing collection of new old songs written on the road during the 1960s and 70s. Released in 2004, the first recording was a critical success that wove together Jimmy's unique musical background of country, gospel, blues, and jazz. Now, seven years later, Jimmy Norman and Karen Tolhurst are back with The Way I See It, a continuation of their remarkable collaboration. Jimmy's songs are again first-rate, timeless, homespun stories of lost love, the pursuit of power, and continuing racial differences. And again, Karen has assembled some of the finest musicians working today to back Jimmy in the studio. Several of the original Penang regulars, Johnny Roche, Tony Beard, Paula Sala, and Karen play on both recordings. However, the way I see it adds a slate of international artists recruited to play on various tracks. Jimmy Norman's music represents an explosive period of American creativity, a time when soul and R&B, heavily under the influence of gospel and blues, met the richest storytelling traditions of country music. A native of Nashville, Jimmy came of age in the post-World War II era when all these musical forms were fusing in what would become the golden age of rock and roll. For this reason, one cannot separate Jimmy's music from his personal story. They are forever blended. These songs represent Jimmy Norman's life, and the miracle that brought them to us is a true blessing. What's it coming to, this old world?